by Gordon Carrera Security Correspondent Image Copyright Reuters Image Caption Eugene Kaspersky has denied his company has worked with the Kremlin to others The Russian-headquartered antivirus company Kaspersky Lab has hit back at reports it deliberately extracted sensitive files from a U.S. national security agency worker's computer. The allegations stem from a Wall Street Journal report in early October. Russianers had used Kaspersky software to identify classified files on the NSA contractor's home computer, which they then stole, it said. It later emerged Kaspersky had also copied files off the PC itself. Image caption An NSA contractor was said to have installed Kaspersky's software on a personal computer but the company has now said this was not deliberate and any classified documents were destroyed. It said its researchers had been investigating malicious software created by the Equation Group, which is widely understood to be Kaspersky's code word for the NSA, and this research had included looking for signatures relating to known equation activity on machines running the company's software. On the 11th of September 2014, the company said, one of its products deployed on a home computer with an Internet Protocol IP address in Baltimore, Maryland close to where the NSA is based had reported what appeared to be variants of the malware used by the Equation Group. Image Copyright Getty Images Image Caption Kaspersky Lab denies sharing any of the copied archives files with third parties soon after, the user had disabled the Kaspersky Lab antivirus tool and downloaded and installed pirated software infected with another, separate form of malware. And when the Kaspersky product had been reactivated, it had also detected this malware and new variants of equation malware inside a 7-zip archive of file containing compressed documents. This had been sent back to Kaspersky Lab and found to contain known and unknown equation tools, source code and classified documents, indicating the user of the computer had been not a victim of equation but one of its authors. Eugene Kaspersky, the company's founder and chief executive, had then ordered the classified data should be deleted from the company's systems, and within days it had been. Image Copyright Getty Images Image Caption The scandal overshadowed Kaspersky's 20th anniversary celebrations earlier this month Kaspersky had kept only the malware binaries, computer code necessary to improve protection for its customers. According to security software industry standards, requesting a copy of an archive containing malware is a legitimate request, the firm said. We also found no indication the information ever left our corporate networks. The Wall Street Journal reports had said the Russian government had secretly scanned computers using Kaspersky software to spy on the U.S. government not necessarily with the company's knowledge. Israeli intelligence Kaspersky denies creating signatures specifically designed to search for top-secret or classified material. And it has now said the only third-party intrusion in its networks was by Duke 2.0 malware linked to Israeli intelligence. Following the Wall Street Journal report, the New York Times had reported that Israel had penetrated Kaspersky's networks in 2014 and alerted the U.S. to the possibility of Kaspersky software being used for espionage. Kaspersky has also said the separate form of malware not linked to the equation group that it had detected on the Maryland PC, had been Smokebot or Smokeloader, a Trojan created by a Russianer in 2012 and sold on Russian underground forums. Prime target and during this period the command and control servers of this malware were registered to what appeared to be a Chinese entity. Given that system owner's potential clearance level, the user could have been a prime target of nation states, the Kaspersky spokesman said. U.S. federal agencies have now been told to remove all Kaspersky software from their computers. The Kaspersky spokesman said Kaspersky Lab security software, like all other similar solutions from our competitors, has privileged access to computer systems to be able to resist serious malware infections and return control of the infected system back to the user, the company says in its statement. This level of access allows our software to see any file on the systems that we protect. With great access comes great responsibility.